How's it going boys? So I'm making this video before I hop on PCT. I'm stopping my testosterone replacement therapy due uh, to problems that I'm having when taking testosterone. So when I first started, it was just fine. I didn't really get much side effects from taking it. Uh, to remind you, I've been taking testosterone enantate. Uh, I did change and use different companies because of what was available at the location where I'm at. So when I first started, I was in Kiev. As you guys know, Kiev is not a place to live anymore. So now I'm currently living in Thailand. And so I'm buying the brands that exist here in Thailand. Uh, and I tried quite a few brands, so I didn't just try one. And the side effects that I'm getting is sometimes every week, sometimes every second week, uh, after the injection, and I do inject correctly, I know a lot of people are going to think that I, I'm injecting in a wrong way, uh, but I, I did proper research. I've been doing it for many years. Um, so I do inject correctly. So what happens is after the injection, I would feel fine for, you know, um, sometimes like 24 hours, sometimes 12 hours, depends. Uh, so I'd feel fine. And then out of nowhere, I'd just be sitting at my desk and I would try to breathe and I would get like shortness of breath and I would just start coughing. It's as if like I'm trying to breathe deep and it makes me wanna cough and I, I just start coughing like violently. Uh, and the cough would last for, you know, an hour or two or three. And, uh, and then I would start feeling really bad. So I tracked, um, I tracked my heart rate and my blood pressure. My heart rate, resting heart rate would go from, you know, my normal is around like 80, 90. It would go to 120 or 130 while sitting, while resting, while laying down. So my, my heart just goes really fast. My pressure would also increase dramatically. So I was seeing stuff around like 137, by 80 or something like that. So the blood pressure was also very high. Uh, sometimes I'd get temperature as well. Um, and I would feel really bad, like extremely weak. Like I can't do anything. Uh, my body cannot regulate my temperature anymore. So everything feels either too cold or too hot. Um, and that feeling would last for a day. So Whenever, like, if I start feeling it, like, afternoon that day, it would last for the whole day. So the whole day I'm weak. I can't do anything. I'm just, like, laying on the couch or, or in bed. And then afterwards I would sleep. And then the next day I would wake up much better. So I would wake up feeling okay, not fully recovered, but, like, 90% or 80%. Uh, so the next day I would feel a little weak, but, you know, functioning. Um... So, and it kept happening over and over again. I tried injecting in different spots. Uh, I made sure that I was not injecting in the vein. So I would like uh, pull the syringe and I would just try to vacuum it, make sure there's no blood in it. It didn't really do much difference. I tried in the buttocks, I tried in the glutes, I tried in the fat. Uh, and I was still like every second week or something I would get those kind of side effects and needless, needless to say, like those side effects are pretty, pretty bad. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of harm this was doing to my body. Why is this happening? I tried researching that. Apparently nobody wrote about this. Nobody is experiencing that. Some people are coughing due to like heavy anabolic steroids, but not testosterone replacement therapy. So I really couldn't figure out what was going on. I still cannot figure out what was go what was going on. Why was it okay, you know, for the first year, and then afterwards I started having like na nasty side effects. So um, I'm kind of getting tired of having those side effects because like ruining the whole day for me and clearly affecting my my body and my health. So I'm going to attempt to get off of testosterone. Uh, I'm going to have PCT uh, 
the PCT will include mostly HCG. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add estrogen blockers because last time I tried using Clomid, I fell into insane depression. So it really, like, when you play with your hormones, like, you need estrogen on some level. And if you block it completely, like, you're gonna feel like crap. Um, and I tried it in the past and it was bad. So HCG, I didn't really get much side effects from it. What the HCG is supposed to do, it is supposed to signal to your brain and to your testicles to start producing sperm and testosterone all over again. So um, I'm gonna be documenting how it feels like uh, to be on PCT. Uh, I'm already like, it's been seven days since my last injection and it didn't go well. Uh, my theory is that somehow the testosterone is making its way to the bloodstream. That's how it sounds like to me. Uh, it is very similar, like the side effects are very, very similar to when I injected the testosterone to the vein by mistake, uh, if not identical. So for some reason, my body is just like taking the testosterone and throwing it to the bloodstream. So I am not sure that I'm even getting the benefits of the testosterone. Like, I don't think it is staying in the muscle and dissolving as it should. So I'm currently not feeling great <laughs> in terms of mood and, and uh, motivation, all that, not feeling great. So hopefully uh, when I start HCG, which should be today or tomorrow, uh, perhaps is gonna help, you know, elevate my testosterone levels. I don't know how long it's gonna take before I get back to my mid-range testosterone levels. Uh, maybe two weeks, maybe a month. I'm hoping for as little time as possible, but, um, you know, it's something that I'm having to deal with. And, and also another thing is like, I don't wanna be relying on testosterone uh, all my life, uh, especially if I can feel good without it or if I can elevate it without um, having to inject myself with synthetic testosterone, you know, using things like Tonkat Ali or changing my diet or perhaps taking more HCG. I can give it another shot. So this is the first video letting you know when I'm starting and I will be updating you guys every week letting you know uh, what is happening, how I'm feeling, uh, being low on testosterone or in PCT. Probably not gonna be great, but um, gonna do my best to stay positive and uh, to do things that are, that make me feel good so that I can get through this phase, um, you know, without too much struggle. So anyways, I thought this is a very important video to share because nobody is talking about it. I am sure that some people are having this kind of side effects from testosterone. I don't know if the testosterone I'm taking is bad or my body's reacting to it in a, in a wrong way. To remind you, I've taken, I've tried different brands before deciding to quit. So um, the first testosterone I was taking and it was fine, it was from Balkan Pharmaceuticals, a uh, company from Moldova. Then I moved to Thailand. I ran out of that, those ampules. So I had to buy something locally, which I bought Bayer. Now, to remind you, Thailand is not, like, there is a lot of fake pharmaceutical stuff here. Thailand is the, the land of fake stuff. So even though I bought it from a pharmacy and it, the pack seems legit, the price seems legit, everything, I'm not sure it was made in the right way or it's actually Bayer or was it fake or not? So I was getting the side effects on Bayer, uh, then I tossed it away, and then I bought uh, Meditech, which is like a company from Switzerland or something. And I had high hopes that it'll work fine, and it worked fine one week, but then the week after, I got the exact same side effects. So uh, decided to call it quits, 
and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes, just in case some of you guys are facing the same kind of side effects so that you know uh, how it feels like to quit and how to quit. I'll share with you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and anyways, this is gonna be the first part. I'm gonna record the next parts, you know, in the future. So I'll see you in the next chapter.